All right, it is time to talk movies with our favorite flick chick, Vicky, who is the Red Vine Reviewer. And let's remind people why we call you that Red Vine Reviewer. Because that's how I rate my movies, my Red Vines, one being the worst of the worst, run, 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 forest run, and five being Oscar worthy. It's so good. I like it. There you go. Okay, let's get into our first one. But before we get into this, uh huh. a um, couple things. Uh huh. One, I want to ask, this is not a sequel, it's not a prequel, it's, uh, is it considered a reboot, or what are we saying it is? I don't know, it's just more of them. More of them, right? I guess. It is. It's, I guess, uh, for a new generation, maybe, something like that. Yeah, something like that. Uh, uh, yeah. Newer. But first thing I wanted to ask you was, yes. have you ever been in a tornado? I have. So I'm from Battle Creek, Michigan, and we had them come through. We actually were very lucky because we had like a very, I forget what categories they are, but it bypassed Battle Creek and got to Kalamazoo, which is a half hour away from us, oh. and took everything out. And that's where actually I went to school. So it was like a day that um, I didn't have to be at school or something. And uh, yeah, so I've, I've been in them, Battle Creek, Michigan. We've gotten into the basement. We've gotten into uh, building, you know, into the position, um, positions yeah. and everything. So. so, you know, obviously we don't have anything like that out here in the desert. And I was on tour with a theater company. We were doing children's theater, and my character was uh, scared by a ghost and is passed out on the stage. I can't see anything. Yeah. And all of a sudden, I could hear the actors stop talking, and there's commotion. Well, they had gotten a, no a tornado warning, and they filed all the kids out and left the actors just there. <laughs> we were well, just there. Oh, and then so we were, like, looking around, and we're like, what's going on? Yeah. And then so we came out and found out that they were all in a shelter and just left just us. Just there. Yeah, so, but, well, but it passed us over. But that, that <laughs> was my is. close call. So well, anyway, so shirt, we're talking. And, yeah. yeah, and the shirt fits perfect for me because not my first tornado. Yeah, And yeah. not my first time seeing this movie. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about yeah. it. So, so we actually, yeah, we all, a lot of us have seen the original. And this time around, we have a young gal who is like a tornado whisperer. Yes. And uh, she teams up with, at first they're fighting, and then they team up together with a YouTuber, uh, cowboy, uh, tornado wrangler. Anyway, you're just going to, we're not going to give you a lot of plot away, but it's a lot of action, a lot of tornadoes, a lot of spectacle. What I would say is it's a fun popcorn movie, and if you're interested in seeing this movie, you know need to see it on a big screen so yeah. don't be waiting to see it streaming go out it's gonna be really hot this weekend have fun go get some popcorn that's about what I can say I give yeah. it three and a half red vines yeah. and I, I said the same thing it was I mean we saw the first one and we think about the special effects for that one now for seeing this one the way it is you said it cost a lot of money to put this one on yeah um, but I did it was just kind of like just a sit back and kind of like you know what I'm gonna enjoy myself you know, yeah. eat some popcorn, had a drink, had a, you know, drink yeah, and stuff. Yeah, I think the last tornado was the most fun, uh, the most spectacle, yeah. and that's but great. It is kind of like a love story in a, in a different little way. It is. It's way. a rom-com action yeah. adventure kind of a movie. Um, and if you've seen the first one, you will see um, a little, I guess, tribute to the first movie, yeah. and that's with Dorothy, and everybody yeah. remembers Dorothy yeah. from the first one, but also to Bill Paxton's Big son, Paxton's son makes, makes an appearance in this, makes a cameo. And so. good luck finding him, is yeah, all I can that's say. that's what I say. But... but I'll tell you really good luck is that I had the fortune to see an incredible movie called Oddity. Okay, what is this? Oddity. And this is a scary um, movie put out by this Irish uh, writer, director, a young guy, Damian McCarthy. It involves psychic twin sisters, a haunted gothic castle out in an isolated countryside where this guy comes to her door and tells her, let me in. There is somebody in your house and I'm here to help you. And he begs her and begs her and look at him. Are you going to let this guy in oh. what does she do he goes I saw him go in your house when you came out to check your car there is somebody in your house that's the way this movie starts and I'm gonna tell you I was on the edge of my seat this entire movie it is tense it is thrilling it has a great score that adds to this fever pitch of excitement and at one point in this movie I am literally saying out loud what are you doing? Followed by, no, 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 no. That movie is so gripping. Five red vines, everybody. Wow. Not a movie you would probably heard about. You got to go check it out. Subtitles? No. No. It's an Irish movie. All right. It's wonderful. Right. You can see it. It's so rich in look and tone. So compelling. Right, Five thanks. red vines. I like that. All right, can I ask, ask, this is kind of like the year of horror movies, am I right? I is think that... every year is a year of horror movies but... in my book. But yeah, we have some great ones. Because, I've seen a lot more. Because even though there's some gore in this, people are realizing what I've known for a long time because 
I am a horror aficionado from a baby. You evolve, your tastes evolve, and I don't need to see gore to be scared. Right. There is some gore in this movie, but I told you, just her at the door not knowing what to do, that was scary That's enough. That's the scary thing right there, yeah. someone knocking at my door. Yeah, you don't someone need to see the door. door. There's some gore, but you don't need it. Saying, let me in. Yeah. No. Thank you, Ms. Vicky. Remember, you can always catch Ms. Vicky here with us. Also, if you head over to the CW7AZ.com, you can find out where you can find her on Facebook and other social media platforms. So, thank you very much. All right, there's more of the Arizona Daily Mix to come after the break. So, stick around because it's not our first Arizona Daily Mix. <laughs>